Damn it! My TDS is way too high. What do I do now? Don't panic. Reducing TDS in water is easier than you think. Let me show you how. If your TDS levels are too high, there are few ways you can lower it and make your water safe to drink. Tip number one: RO purifiers are the most effective way to reduce high TDS levels. They work by pushing the water through a semi-permeable membrane, removing up to 90 to 99 percent of the dissolved solids. RO is perfect if your TDS levels are above 200 ppm. It's also great for improving the taste of your water by removing excess salts and minerals, and it effectively filters contaminated water. Water with low TDS can still be harmful if the source such as the water storage tank or the pipelines are contaminated with certain bacteria or viruses. Tip number two, distillation. This method involves boiling the water and collecting the steam, leaving the dissolved solids behind. It's a slower process, but is highly effective at reducing TDS. Distilled water has very low TDS, usually below 10 ppm. But keep in mind, it also removes beneficial minerals. And what about a simple filter jug? Great question. While filter jugs won't reduce TDS, they are still okay for removing certain particles and improving taste. If your TDS levels aren't too high, let's say not above 200 ppm, a basic filter might be sufficient to improve your water quality, provided that your water source is not contaminated and is safe. After using these methods, you should aim for a TDS level up to 200 ppm for safe, great tasting water. Wow, that's way better than my original 450 ppm. You've got high TDS levels in your water, now you know how to reduce it. And subscribe for more tips on keeping your water safe and healthy.